1 Kings 17, 6 and 7. 1 Kings 6, uh, 17, 6 and 7, and that is Elijah went to the brook and ate from the raven, and then he left after the brook dried up. He went to the brook, he ate from the raven, and then he left as the brook dried up. He went to the brook mainly because, and only because I should say, that's what God told him to do. This morning, I wanna deal with the fact that your anointing increases based on the obedience in your life. Three things I want you to see. First thing is, Elijah went to the brook as God told him to do. The Lord said, go to the brook and I need you to do something extraordinary. I need you to eat from the dirty bird, a raven. That's what I need you to do. Now, we look at that and say, oh my God, that's miraculous. And it was, but it's even more than that. Is he had to obey God to the point that he would eat from the mouth of a dirty bird, a raven. That's the first thing he did. Second thing is, is Elijah went to the widow. He went to the widow after the brook dried up and asked her to give her last. Now, you got to know that had to be a difficult thing for the man of God to do. But he was able to do it, to ask the widow for her last. She says, what are you, he, he ran up on her, says, what are you about to do? I'm about to fix this cake and me and my son's going to eat it and we're going to die. Why? We're in the midst of a famine because Elijah had earlier uh, prophesied that there would be a famine. So they're all living in the wake of the word that God gave him. And now he goes to the woman and asks the woman to give her very last after she said, that's all I have. That's some incredible obedience. Where did he learn to go with that? How did he learn to obey and increase his anointed to say that? When he went to the brook and when he ate from the beak of a dirty bird, the raven. Here's the third thing. The son of the widow died. She said, you came here to take my only son and to eat my last bread. What did Elijah do? The third thing he did, he took the son, the dead son, and went to the room. So here we have a man of God that at every level and at every intersection as to what he should do in life, he obeys God. He obeys God. You know the story. He takes the son. He prays over the son. The son comes back to life. The woman, as a result of this, says that you are indeed the man of God. Now notice she is in an area in which they do not believe God. So Elijah goes into a area, an environment where they don't believe God, shows his obedience to God in three indications or three instances. And as a result, his anointing increases. But more than that, more than that, they now believe that his God, our God, is the God. That increases one's anointing. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. Obedience opens the door to more anointing. So obey the word of God. Obedience opens the door to more anointing. So you got to obey the word of God. No matter how difficult it may be, you got to know this was a difficult thing for Elijah to eat from the beak of a dirty bird, but God told him to do that. To go to a woman and ask her for her last, but God told him to do that. And then take a dead son to a room and pray over him, but God told him to do that. At every level, his anointing increased. What is God asking you to do right now? That seems completely strange. That seems completely out of the way. I guarantee you, if you obey God, your anointing will increase. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. And remember this, remember, I am moving Morning Manna to my fan page. In a couple days, you'll get me on my fan page. So you want to go to my fan page and then uh, like it so you can get the notification. God bless.
Cześć.